Y'all, it's DG back with another video today talking about over 50 new basketball shoes, shoes in general, sneaker related news and topics that caught my eye over the last week. So let's start off with Tyrese Halliburton signing with Puma. So if y'all didn't know, he recently signed a really big deal with Puma reported by Nick Tabala, Pacers all-star point guard has signed a massive multi-year shoe deal to become the future face of Puma. So him and LaMelo are going to lead Puma to greatness, I guess, which is great because if y'all don't remember, Tyrese was most recently with Nike. He didn't have the biggest deal with them, but he did have some GTK 3 PEs. He always played in exclusive Kobe's, which Honestly, he bought, you know, for resale from Spencer Souls. So a lot of what he was wearing at Nike were just PEs and special colorways and stuff like that. So, you know, a lot of my comments were like, oh, why is he leaving Nike and stuff like that? But he's probably going to get a signature shoe. He's going to get a lot more money at Puma. So I'm happy for him and we'll see how he, he balls out. He was on Team USA. People forget that but he didn't really play because of those ahead of him but he's a great player so i'm excited to see what puma will have cooking for him next up we have two new colorways of the Giannis immortality four guys these look pretty good i'm not gonna lie i do think the fours the immortality fours look the best out of the entire immortality line and i'm not mad at these colorways right here you can even say that you know the immortality line looks better than the actual signature shoe line so i'm not mad at these at all and for 85 dollars this is a pretty nice shoe to get i'm not gonna lie if i got these as a gift i would not be mad at these whatsoever especially you know for the on par performance kind of with the zoom freak six you can't really be mad at it especially in these colorways so i'm not you know i'm not mad at these at all and these look pretty pretty all right so these look to be andrew wiggins latest basketball shoe signature shoe from peak and these are tough guys these are tough i'm not gonna lie this mismatch type of vibe dragon type of vibe reminds me of the wow 10 um, dragon that released for like 250 almost two years ago so these are tough guys these are tough i would try to get them but i'm not sure where or how they're releasing but i will try to get them for the page and i do like andrew wiggins he is on my golden state warriors so i would love to support him but i do like these this mismatch colorway this is jason tatum wearing the tatum 3 welcome to the garden alternate pe so basically they did release a retail version this is the pair that i performance test you know from retail it was basically this colorway but kind of had some color changes this one in my opinion looks a lot better so hopefully these release for retail but i think these were only exclusive to concepts it came in the special packaging like a dual pack with the jordan one low jason tatum pe so I really want these, but I did see resale prices for the pack that I'm talking about, and it's going for over $1,000, so yeah, I don't know if it's worth that much, but hopefully we do eventually get a release for these because this is way better than the retail pair. Kobe 5 Pro Tro in the X-Ray colorway is releasing confirmed by Vanessa Bryant on October 17th. Unless that date changes, we can expect October 17th, guys, and what I am predicting is that these are for resale right now, they're going around 400, but I did see some resellers posting early pairs of these. So whenever there's early pairs, it must mean that there's enough to backdoor. You know, prime example is the Travis one low, the, um, the medium olive, the reverse olive colorway. There are a lot of pairs of those and they are going for high resale prices, obviously, but not, you know, a seven to $800. So I think these are going to hover around three to 400 when they release, which is relatively speaking, not horrible in comparison, again, relative to other Kobe fives. So I'll be getting these. Hopefully we can all score for retail. I know there's going to be a lot of raffles closer to the release date. So I'm very excited for these to release. And in person, these must look fire because in pictures, they look really good. This is the Luca 3 El Matador colorway. And I don't like this colorway at all. I can definitely see what they're going for with the pink and light brown. 
but yeah i don't like this colorway at all i think the best colorways in the luca 3 are the pe versions for the universities like the unc and stuff like that and for the other jordan brand schools this one this retail one is definitely going to go on sale so even if you are remotely interested i would just wait here we have a better look at a book one pe right here i'm not you know that into it but the book one is a really good shoe guys i said this in my review in february um like this is a solid shoe i think too many people hated on it at first but performance wise they're good materials are my favorite thing about the shoe again i said this back in february so you know i'm on the record liking this shoe before everyone like turned their back on it or you know switched up their opinions on it so i really do enjoy this shoe i have a lot of the colorways and i can't wait for the future colorways we're going to talk about in this video this is the puma scoot 2 guys so scoot henderson this is a sign second signature shoe and this is i don't know what to think about it is that like a flap on the lateral side i'm not sure i'm not yeah i didn't like the scoot one honestly this may look okay in different colorways this one i'm not really feeling that much scoot one was solid solid um in terms of looks but performance i didn't really like them that much i felt like they were very clunky on my feet so let me know what you guys think of the scoot twos so brawny james is now officially on the los angeles lakers in the nba he has been wearing his lebron next gen amped pe's you guys can see his number nine right there let me know what you guys think if you guys want like a brawny and lebron pe pack i think that would be cool you know commemorating that first father-son duo, you know, in the NBA playing on the same team at the same time, which is really, really crazy. So let me know what you guys think. I would definitely cop, you know, just for the moment. And I think it's, I think it's cool. I think it's cool that he's in the NBA and he might spend some time in the G League just based on what I've seen or what I'm hearing and just to develop and get you know playing time but let me know what you guys think if you want like a brawny pe sneaker highway 23 recently posted this comparison between what seems to be d'angelo russell's pair of the all city 13 versus the hardened volume 2 in this triple y colorway um i feel like the the all city 13 is that the medial or the lateral side it might be might be the medial side i'm honestly not sure but that looks to be the all city 13 guys it looks to be the all city 13 i know we got the encore version of the previous model um like a couple months ago but all city 13 must be coming soon and it i guess it looks like the hardened volume 2 but you know just with the perforation holes you know they're still kind of different so let me know what you guys think this is the first look at the all city 13 lean Ning gamma in this gold colorway very very tough guys this is an amazing basketball shoe and i guess there is a reason why it costs 500 usd although i don't think any basketball shoe should cost that much especially you know even if they are a good performer i don't think they should cost like five hundred dollars that's kind of crazy you can get a great performer on sale right now so yeah that, I, this is cool to look at though and obviously if you guys know me i like monochromatic colorways i love gold on basketball shoes i think it just looks so cool but yeah i if these are around like 200 i would definitely get them but yeah 500 is way too much this is a fox one pe that he gave away to his high school um, I'm not sure if these are going to release, but I do like the strap and I like kind of the, the fox kind of shiny thing to finish the strap off. And then his logo is really good as well, but it looks like the Curry One Low. Honestly, I don't expect anything different for this basketball shoe in comparison to the Curry One Low. So let me know what you guys think of these. So this is Jalen Brown's 741 performance basketball shoe. I did talk about the shoe in the past, but all you need to know is that he started his own brand. He rejected different types of shoe deals from other brands during his sneaker free agency started 741 and this basketball shoe is his first signature shoe i did pre-order them in this black colorway so it should be coming in the next one to two months but i'm excited to see how these do on court this is a new colorway of the nike gt hustle 3 and i'm not really liking them that much i don't really i think the shoe is good kind of i mean i wouldn't play in it in like a fast or competitive setting i would only play in these by myself 
and it's just laterally unstable for me at least just for my play style the way that i move you know i'm you know everyone's different so if you like these please don't be offended i do think they're good just very comfortable but overall i don't really think they're great for any sort of lateral movement shifty movement stuff like that but it's more so this colorway i don't really like this colorway at all so this is the all pro nitro elite for 250 from puma i like the looks of this shoe but the price tag is crazy the price tag is crazy um maybe it's as good as the gammas but i'm not sure yeah i i know they're packing a lot of tech in the shoe and stuff like that but i don't i don't know you can still get a decent basketball shoe for like a fraction of this price and you know at the end of the day you just need one basketball shoe and basketball shoes only going to help you so much so yeah i would love to try these it's just hard buying a shoe for that much you can get like two to three basketball shoes on sale for the same price so but if you guys want me to i will review them if you guys want me to but so far i'm leaning towards no so this is what i was referring to earlier this is the welcome to the garden retail pair of the tatum 3. i recently did do a full-on review of these i have been playing in them over the past two weeks so i do like the shoe guys i do like the shoe it is definitely in my opinion the best tatum in my opinion it is the best tatum but let me know what you guys think um aesthetically they're definitely the best although you know call me olds i do like the kind of old school 90s look this colorway doesn't look the best though in my personal opinion i don't really like the colorway that much but there are future colorways that i will definitely buy so i'm definitely going to buy the zero days off colorway i think those look really good i think they look good in general when it's more monochromatic this one i'm not really feeling it does remind me I don't know i'm not really feeling this colorway too much and it, on me it doesn't look that great anyway so let me know what you guys think of the tatum 3. so this is kevin durant at the sun's practice he is wearing a player exclusive pe version of the kd17 easy money i do like these way better than the retail version that we're going to get but yeah I, maybe i just like red and orange more than like a green type of hue but let me know what you guys think of these so this is the book one sunsets we are going to talk about the Sunrise colorway soon that has just released on Nike.com, by the way. So if you just want to check your phone right now on the video and search up book one on the Nike app, you'll be able to find the Sunrise colorway. But this is the Sunset. It looks really good. It is a Suns type of colorway. Um, it kind of has more of a canvas type of upper, so it's not leather. I do wish they made it leather, though. This will definitely be in the collection, guys, because it directly represents the team it kind of looks like a pe version anyway so i will definitely be getting these and obviously i do like the book one guys it's just a it's a comfortable shoe especially due to the materials i'm a big fan of the materials even though this one's not leather i still am a big fan of it so it looks good it looks good in the halloween colorway this will definitely be going in the collection as well i like loud colorways but the zoom freak six you know not the best shoe in my opinion it it is very derivative of the five it may even be worse in terms in terms of well in terms of cushion at least i think the fives had a little bit of a better cushion or at least more compression so it may be positive or negative depending on what you personally like guys so i do like the looks of these though i like the looks of them the roses colorway that i performance tested does look good as well and i do like this orange colorway i do think it's executed nicely this is a grade school gs version of the gt gut 3 i hope we get this colorway but in a men's version it was recently reported that we are supposed to be getting the kobe 5 pro tro in the draft day colorway so this colorway is making return super clean guys super clean we did get the draft day fours i believe that may have been the first kobe 4 pro Tro colorway i think it was i think the draft day fours were the first kobe 4 pro Tro colorway to come back and so we are getting you know the fives right here these look I think I like playing in the fives and sixes the most, guys. I've been playing in the fives and sixes since since when they first came out. Like over a decade ago, over 10 years ago, I've been playing in the five and six. They've always been my favorite basketball shoes, guys. And uh, like back in the day, they used to sit on shelves. Like I really don't care because they're still amazing. It doesn't, just because a shoe sits on shelves doesn't mean it's not good. Like just for example, GT Cut 3, even the book one, LeBron 21, right? Like they're supposed to sit on shelves if they're meeting customer demand. So this is a really nice colorway and I hope they make a lot of pairs of them. 
is the Giannis Immortality 4 in the Halloween colorway. Let me know what you guys think of these. This is a first look at the Dawn Issue 6 in the Spider Gwen Halloween type of colorway. These are cool. I wish that they made kind of that black, you know, upper tongue portion like white, I guess. Maybe it would be like a monochromatic white, but I do like these a lot. I do like these a lot. Whether or not these would go in the collection, I'm not sure, but I do like the colorway that I have, the Spidacant ones, so maybe I'm not gonna spend my money on these. So this is the first look at the Luca 3 and the Marquette colorway. Nothing crazy. I do like the UNC colorway a lot better, but let me know what you guys think of these. This is also a first look at the Jaw 2 in the Valentine's Day colorway. Obviously not a good leak, guys. This is a leak. It's not going to look great, but I'm sure in official images, people are going to go, you know, they're going to like these for the most part. And you guys can see, you know, the back design, obviously Valentine's Day, but let me know what you guys think. This is a first look, you know, Sabrina Inescu is in the WNBA finals with the New York Liberty. They did beat out the Aces, which is, which is cool. And this is a new colorway, like a gold bronze Sabrina 2. I hope these release for retail and I hope that Nike has something up their sleeve if she does win the WNBA championship because Serena 2, really, really good shoe. Serena 1, very, very good shoe. Serena 1 was actually my top shoe of 2023. And so I'm really excited to see if Nike can continue releasing great colorways for the twos. I know they are on Nike ID, but this is a really good colorway right here. DS version of the Sabrina 2 looks to be like a queen type of colorway. KD17, easy money. This is what I was referring to earlier. These are kind of growing on me actually, but let me know what you guys think of these. Here's a better photo of the alternate version of the KD17. Hopefully these release actually. So new information on the Kai1 Jelly guys. I will probably pay resale for this pair because I saw them on GOAT for only 150, which is a really good price. But in the title, it says China exclusive. So I don't think they're releasing in the States, but I'm probably going to buy resale before some like everyone buys pairs already and they're unavailable because 150 is a really good price, just, you know, getting an exclusive colorway from Asia. So I will definitely be getting these soon. So this is the Book One Sunrise colorway that did release recently on Nike.com. I think they look better in, in hand or on feet than in these official images, but I want to have, you know, the Sunrise colorway, this one, and then the Sunset colorway, you know, maybe do a mismatch, obviously, like I always do, but I do like this one a lot. It's kind of like a muted pink do like the outsole too so i really like the book one guys i think it looks it looks clean this is the colorway that i was talking about the tatum three zero days off i will definitely be buying these very excited it looks really good i think the tatum three looks good it just has an old school shoe it, it, it's reminiscent of like an old school shoe which is why i have such a likeness and fondness towards it but let me know what you guys think of these this is the jordan hair one i'm not sure when these are going to release not even this colorway. I don't even know when the shoe is going to release, but I do plan to buy them because, yeah, they're supposed to be like a unisex shoe, mainly for women though, but it looks solid. Asia Wilson in the LeBron 22 USA PEs. Let me know what you guys think of these. I feel like these definitely should have released. This is supposed to be a sample of the AE2, but I'm not sure because there's so many conflicting leaks now that, and every leak looks somewhat different. All these samples, you know, I guess they're trying to like iterate. I wouldn't be mad if this was the actual shoe though. I feel like it looks solid. You guys see the Anthony Edwards logo on the tongue and it looks fine. I'm not mad at it at all. So if these end up being the AE2, I'm not gonna be mad, but overall, you know, if this isn't and they continue to iterate on the design, I wouldn't be mad either. This is the Zoom Freak 6 and I believe the China colorway does have to be like bamboo on the swoosh. I'm not feeling these too much. I do like the Halloween colorway better, but let me know what you guys think of these. Luca 3, I believe this is the Imaginarium colorway. So if you guys don't remember on the Luca 1, Jordan 35 PE, they had the Imaginarium um, colorway for Luca. And you know, these had potential, but what is, I don't understand the blue. Like it looks, it looks cheap. It looks like a crayon, like a marker. So that's just my honest opinion. I feel like the um, the multicolor cosmic type of pattern should have been all over the upper. Just like go all out at that point because the blue just looks kind of weird. But I do like the Luca 3 as a performer. It is pretty good, specifically traction and the fit. The fit for my wide feet was really good. So let me know what you guys think of this colorway. I feel like most people won't like it. 
general sneaker news guys this is travis one low um in this mocha colorway that's releasing in november or december but these look clean but they're all being backdoored so there's going to be a lot of pairs of these i believe resale is going to hover around 500 just like the you know uh, reverse olives but let me know what you guys think these i can definitely see myself wearing these i've been wearing the phantoms for the past um year now and those have a bunch of star loss and i feel like these could replace my phantoms just instead of black it's just going to be brown which i absolutely love so it's clean and even with the pink laces they look tough Giannis immortality 4 in this blue colorway let me know what you guys think available on nike.com this is the way of weight 11 in the overtown colorway let me know what you guys think of these. Braun 22 in what I believe is called the Moonlight colorway or something like that. I am not a fan of this one. If this is going to be the launch colorway, I don't know. They should have launched with something else. I know they're going to release great colorways for this shoe. They always do for LeBron's for the most part. All of the colorways are usually good, but I don't like this one at all. But if it's the first one, I'm going to be getting it because you know i want to play in this shoe and review it so let me know what you guys think of this colorway right here another colorway of the jordan hair in this multi let me know what you guys think this colorway doesn't look that bad kind of remind gives me some bruce lee vibes has that pattern on the upper but mainly just red black and yellow with the gum outsole i'm not mad at it um, i'm still playing in this shoe I'll, I'll upload like a quick little review but overall it kind of feels the same as the kai one they're also the same price this colorway should release. This is like a PE version of his Halloween one. These are tough. These look good. So yeah, hopefully these release, but I doubt it. This is a new colorway of the WOW 8084 Ultra. So let me know what you guys think. It has like this octanit. That's why I zoomed in so much. It has an octanit, which <laughs> looks crazy. Nike LeBron Trainer 1 just released on Nike.com. These are tough, guys. This I at least this purple colorway. They did release a Dunkman one as well, which is like a neon and gray. But I'm I'm getting these in, so I want to like upload a review, see not see if I can play basketball in them, but just like overall do some sort of physical activity in them, maybe a jog or um, something like that, because these look good and hopefully they release good colorways like these, because I can see myself you know wearing these just casually because they do look fine and they look really comfortable. Air Jordan 39 in this UNC type blue colorway. Um, I, they're okay, but they're a little bit too simple. I'm waiting for the red ones. Book one in the MSU Michigan State PEs. These are tough guys. And I have, there's like really good materials on this shoe. They look really, really good. I doubt they're not gonna release these, but really nice to look at. This is a first look at a new colorway of the KD4 Retro. These are really good for a new colorway. This is really nice, or I guess I'm biased because I am a Warriors fan, but let me know what you guys think of this. First look at the Sabrina 2 Slam 30 year anniversary PE. I don't, yeah, these are probably not gonna release, but let me know what you guys think. Really, really cool, especially if she wins the championship. Brand new Stewie 3 colorway. Um, I have not played in this shoe. I don't plan to just because I don't, I'm not that big of a fan of the silhouette, but let me know what you guys think of these. New Balance 2 Way 5 in the triple black colorway. Um, this is a good shoe. I do recommend it. It is honestly pretty good, especially they're going to go on sale too. So if you can get that, you can't go wrong with it. It's very comparable or at least not comparable, but like competitive with Nike and other brands. Um, New Balance knows what they're doing and these are pretty comfortable too. The cushion is a standout. So out of all the hoop shoes we talked about today, leave a comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite. Which one are you going for? These, obviously my favorite, as you guys know, and I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna pick these, but yeah, Draft Day Pro Tro 5s, that's gonna be really, really tough. And you guys can see, it's just a clean colorway. Um, Charlotte Hornets, obviously, but yeah, I can't wait for these to release. We don't really have a release date yet, but People are reporting in 2025, so should be sometime next year, hopefully. Or honestly, my prediction is they're gonna push it to like summer or even like next, um, this time next year, which is gonna be a while. So it's gonna be a year from now. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below and let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, especially if you made it this far. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.